in order to access the structure workspace, expose the workspaces and then switch from mechanical to structure workspace. This will activate the structure environment. You'll notice that in this assembly I have multiple components that are already created. Each of the components has side views, top views, front views associated with them. Also notice that the components display listed in a bill of materials with a quantity. I'm going to make an additional component out of the two magenta side plates. Turn visibility off on the existing components for clarity. Create a new component, give the component a name, and then label the view. Once the component is structured, simply select the geometry associated with it. I'll do the second plate, the additional front view, and specifying a base point, then completes the process. Turning visibility back on on the components give us now an opportunity to mirror the plate, the nut, and the washer to the other side of the assembly. Select the points for the mirror operation. And once complete, review the bill of materials. Once again, we'll see the bill of materials is updated to include the new plate and the additional quantity of both the washer and the nut. Hide situations provide a more realistic look and some clarity on our designs. Simply select the foreground objects and the hide situation places a priority on those components and they will occlude any components behind them. Change the hide situation to not show hidden lines for even further clarity. In addition to components and their associated views, we can also create what are known as annotation views, which allow us to detail the components themselves. In a separate environment, although related, any adjustments or edits made to the source components will be reflected in both. Simply place the view and then the adjacent front view and begin the annotation process.